God has to be pleased with who you are before what you do counts toward anything. When I say who you are, I'm not talking about whether you're a student or a thief or whatever. Not who, that's based on what you do. Who you are is based on Christ. There's no such thing as impossible. Hey, what's up, friends? You're my mentor here with Unashamed City, where it is our mission to know Jesus and make Jesus known. Thank you for joining me once again for a very short message. And today's title is The Pleasure of of the father we're going to talk about what it takes to please god how can we make sure that he's pleased with everything we're doing and so let's dive in very quickly we begin with matthew chapter 3 verse 17 and it reads and suddenly a voice came from heaven saying this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased and if you know this is after the baptism of jesus he has come out of the water the heavens open, the Holy Spirit descends on him, and this voice speaks and says, This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And I love the common English Bible, which translates this as a voice from heaven said, This is my son whom I dearly love. I find happiness in him. It's interesting that, you know, when you're pleased with what someone is doing, you're usually pleased with them, right? I'm happy with you. But that's not what the Father says here. He says, I'm happy in Christ which means the only place you can find the pleasure of the father the only place where the father finds his joy his happiness is in Christ he didn't say he is pleased with with just Jesus he says he's pleased in him that is the domain in which he finds his pleasure so this means unless you find yourself in Christ you are not in the pleasure of the father Hebrews 11 verse 6 a very popular scripture says that without faith it is impossible to please God because whoever comes to God must believe that he exists and that he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him now in our day in our dispensation faith the first thing it does is it places you in Christ when you believe in Jesus that's the first thing faith does and this is the reason because without Christ you cannot even possibly please the father you can't hope to please the father so the first thing he does with uh, when you believe in Jesus is to place you in the domain where his pleasure is where he finds happiness and that's what Romans chapter 5 verse 1 tells us it says therefore having been justified by faith we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ so faith does the first thing which is to justify you before the Father and then he places you in Christ that is why if you notice in the New Testament you find phrases in Christ a whole lot all through the New Testament in him in whom in Christ right and some of my favorite ones are in him we have redemption no there is no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus if any man be in Christ he is a new creation and in him we live move and have our being and these are just a few of the scriptures that talk about being in Christ which is where God has placed you so that you can please him so what does this mean it means because you are in Christ and because God is only pleased in Christ you already please God stay with me you already please God because of who you are first before anything you do matters God has to be pleased with who you are before what you do counts toward anything and the only way he's when I say who you are I'm not talking about whether you're a student or a thief or whatever not who that's based on what you do who you are is based on Christ who are you in relation to Christ are you a believer in Jesus which means you're a child of God or are you not when you believe in Jesus you are a child of God and based on that he is pleased with you not because of you but because of Jesus the only way you can please God is if he's already pleased with who you are take this as an example growing up my dad uh, would make sure that I was always studying always in my books always trying to make good grades right and so if I ever brought my report card and I did good he'd be happy but he wasn't happy simply because of the report card the reason he was pleased is because these good grades belong to his son and you can verify that if you just took any random kid and brought him and brought my dad his report card my dad wouldn't care he'd be like I don't care that this guy made all A's because he's I don't know him he's not my son so he's not pleased just by the report card he's pleased because the report card belongs to his son so for him to be happy with a good grades I have to first be his son he has to first be pleased with who I am to him 
In the same way, your good deeds will not matter to God unless you are a child of God, unless he's pleased with who you are, which is based on Christ. Once you're in Christ, God is pleased with you. And it's on that basis that you can now do good works to make him proud of you as his son, because he's pleased with you based on Christ. But he's pleased with what you do based on what you're doing in the body. How are you becoming more like Jesus? How are you influencing your generation and impacting other people's lives with the gospel? So then our whole mission in life is to make God proud, not by trying to earn salvation, but doing the things that will make him pleased with our deeds. How do we make him proud? We obey him in everything he instructs us to do, both in the written word and in the spoken word, the word that he tells us, the, the things that he tells us to do personally. We obey him in those things. Why do we need to aspire to please God if we're already pleased or if he's already pleased with us in Christ? I'm going to read this scripture as we wrap up. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 9 to 10. It says, Therefore we must make it, therefore we make it our aim, whether present or absent, to be well pleasing to him. For or because we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that each one may receive the things done in the body according to what he has done, whether good or bad. So the reason you must make yourself well pleasing to God based on what you do in the body is because there is a reward or a loss in future. As a Christian, you have passed from the sin judgment. God will not judge you based on sin because your judgment has been poured out on Christ, but he will judge what you did in the body. He will judge what you did after, after salvation. Did you grow in Christ? Did you become more like Jesus? Did you impact your generation? Did you preach the gospel? There, he's going to judge all of that. If your works survive, you receive a reward. If your works don't survive, if you didn't do anything after salvation, you were just saved, then you're saved, but you lose everything else. You don't have a single reward in heaven or in, in the age to come. That is why we must aspire to do great things in the body because we please our Father. It will make Him proud of us. That should be the goal of every believer. That is my goal and I hope it is yours too. So I thank you for joining me today. I pray that we will all aspire to please the Father in the things that we do, knowing that He's already pleased with who we are in Christ. Thank you. God bless you and continue to live unashamed. Thank you.